beautiful people i'm raish phoenix and in today's video we're going to be doing this makeup look so i came across this filter on tiktok i like how it kind of just like accentuated parts of my face where it wasn't like super dramatic in terms of the shadows and the highlights the blush was intense in the um in the filter but i decided to do my makeup like this filter using my products that i know can get the job done i'd say this look turned out really pretty i'm very happy with it and it was a nice introduction to makeup again because i haven't done my makeup in a couple weeks guys so doing my makeup and seeing it turn out like this we're feeling the vibes we're feeling the vibes and i feel really pretty i feel pretty today and i hope you guys feel pretty today and every day and um that's me just spreading my positivity to y'all. <laughs> if you'd like to see how I created this look, then keep on watching. Hello, beautiful people. Let's get started with today's tutorial. So y'all might be hearing some noise in the background. People be people and I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> There's going to be some noise in the background, but let's get into this look. I'm starting off with the LA Girl Matte Bronzer. This is in Sunset Glow. Before I even get into that, off camera, I applied my eye primer. I have oily lids, so I applied a primer. We're going to be skipping an eyeshadow base because I actually want to work with the natural complexion of my eyelids and then also because we're going to be using mostly neutrals so there isn't really much of a point in me putting down an eyeshadow base because we're not really working with bright colors like that. I also have the e.l.f. brow lift gel so I apply that to my brows. Skincare was taken care of before so let's get into this bronzer. I'm going to be focusing it in the crease, mostly the outer crease. I tend to usually bring my eyeshadow like up to the brow like one thing I would do is I'm gonna bring my eyeshadow and my eyeliner like usually up to over here, but instead we're gonna keep it a little bit more contained today and I'm gonna be placing it like right here. So I'm using mostly a circular motion to apply this eyeshadow. When I get kind of like more into this area where the crease is, that's when I'll use a windshield wiper motion. Just being super patient with building the shade up. I'm using a lighter hand when I get to like this area because I want it to be more diffused. Most of the concentration of this color should be like inner area of the crease, if you will. And then on the outer edges, I'll use a lighter hand so that it's more diffused. So I definitely said I wasn't going to blow out the eyeshadow too much and here I am bringing it up here. So um, just know I tried. I tried but you know sometimes I just like to utilize a lot of my eyelid. I mean at this point it's like a little bit onto the brow bone. A little bit but either way it's fine. It's fine. It's just me saying one thing doing another. Don't even worry about that bruh don't even worry about that <laughs> moving on i'm gonna be grabbing my ellie girl sun kiss glow eyeshadow stick this is in the shade summer heat i'm gonna be focusing this on the like inner half of the lid what i'm gonna do is i have some paper towel in front of me i'm gonna kind of just swirl it around like this on the paper towel and i'm doing that to kind of just let's say activate the product to kind of just get it ready to go now we're gonna apply it to the lid like i said we're not using an eye primer primer eyeshadow base we're not using an eyeshadow base i'm like girl i applied primer we're not using an eyeshadow base but because i'm going to be putting a shimmer shade right where i'm placing this eyeshadow stick i do want to keep the intensity of the shimmer so that's why we're going in with this yeah so that's pretty much good just let's say inner two-thirds of the lid And for this, I did a better job with not exaggerating, all right? For this, I did a better job with not exaggerating. I mean, it's up to your preferences, however you want to do it. But for this look in particular, I don't want to exaggerate too much. Utilizing most of like the eyelid area, this shade is like the brown that I put down is 
already close to my complexion. So for the lid shade, as you can see where my eyes naturally crease, I'm keeping it like within those perimeters. Moving on to our palette. You know, I usually do a little dance for y'all. So we're going to be going into the Ellie Girl Sunkissed Glow Palette. The first shade we're going to be picking up is going to be baked. So this is the shade we're going to be placing right on top of where we had put that base before. I see a little part right in the inner lid that looks like there's a little bit of a gap. I didn't get the base in there well enough, just fixing that. So the eyeshadow has something to grip to. There you go. And I will say be a little careful because it kind of started to do it a little. Be careful with like how much eyeshadow you're packing on top of the base because if you go really heavy handed, you can kind of start to get like this crackle like this cracking type girl I'm struggling to show y'all it is doing it a little bit like in here I mean it's not anything that like crazy or whatever but to avoid having that like textured type of look on your lid make sure you're light-handed with applying the shimmer on top of the base moving on to our next shade I'm gonna be picking up this brown right here called Comet I'm just gonna be placing it right here on the outer lid I'm using mostly a tapping motion because I want it to be more saturated and then also it'll help diffuse and blend into the shimmer shade we put here before. I'm contemplating adding a deeper shadow. We might put a deeper eyeshadow on there. Yeah, 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 I think I might do that. On top of that, we are going, I'm like struggling to hold the palette and show you guys the color at the same time. Okay, so on top of that, we're gonna put the shade Limitless. I feel like the shade I just put on my lid and then also what's in my crease are fairly similar in hue and I do wanna add a little bit of depth. So adding like a cooler brown on this outer V of the lid will help. I'm actually gonna use a little bit of a blending brush to help diffuse it on but now I might blow it out a little bit too much I might be struggling a little bit but bear with me picking up the eyeshadow brush that I used for the crease I didn't pick up any other like any additional product I'm just using this to diffuse with what is already on there already because this other brush is really diffused like you can see that it's wider, so it's gonna cover more area. Try to keep it more closer to here, like applying the brush here and then going down as opposed to like bring it up or around. I'm going in with that other brush, not picking up any more product, just diffusing. Going back into this bottom shade from before, I'm going to be cleaning up the shimmer area and re-adding this shade since it got lost with adding that deeper brown. So just reinforcing this shade right here on the outer crease, mostly the majority of the crease, but we're not focusing a lot of it here because we didn't really put much of it there to begin with. Focusing it mostly on the outer portion of the crease blending and building that shade up a little bit again. Now I'm grabbing my LA Girl Jet Setter Liquid Liner in black. We are doing a baby wing. A baby wing. And I'm saying it multiple times because I'm trying to remind myself because like I said, I will bring that eyeliner up. We're not trying to do that today. We're not, we want a baby wing. Just rethinking my life choices right now. I'm gonna wing it out a little bit. Mostly what I'm focusing on is this lower waterline and extending it. I'm like out the camera, I'm so sorry. 
I'm getting real close to my mirror to make sure I don't make this more exaggerated than I'm intending to. So we're just gonna fill that in and then we're gonna line our lash line. So this is mostly for when we put our lashes on because if you have all of this area let's say exposed like if it's not filled in with anything it's just gonna show a lot when you put your lashes on so because I'm gonna be putting on lashes later I'm going to line this upper area I think I'm gonna build a little bit of thickness over here on the outer portion I keep making this thicker and thicker. Let me put the liner down. Put the liner down. Now I'm just gonna take a makeup remover wipe and fix, well not fix, but more so clean up the outer edge of the look. Get any fallout that may have happened. And did I touch the liner more? Absolutely. Absolutely. I did. But don't even worry about that. Alright, now I'm going to go install my wig for today's look. I like to put my wig on before doing my full face because I don't want to have to touch up my makeup after I put on the wig, so yeah. We're gonna go put our wig on and then when I get back we will do skin. Okay, so I did a few things off camera. I applied my base, so I used the Danessa Myricks Beauty Oil. This is a hydrating face oil. I only have a sample, so I've been using this. And then I also used the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. So I applied this all over to the face, and then after that I applied this. If you see my other videos, girl, we have a fan now. So what I do is I apply the oil, and I allow it to dry down a little bit. I guess if you want to call that dry down a little absorb it's, it's more so an absorbing situation like hydrating absorbing situation and then i apply the primer the reason why i use both of them is because the oil kind of gives the face like a very i guess dewy like hydrated look and then for the milk makeup hydro grip it's to just grip the product that i'm going to be putting on top so it's it's like a dewy situation that it helps to create kind of like a more skin-like application, if you will, of the foundation. And then after that, I went in with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer Corrector. This is in Childish Orange. I don't, I don't know the official orange. I was like, what's the official color? Orange. I set that with my translucent setting powder, so I only applied it to here because this is the area where I have more so hyperpigmentation. This part is definitely optional. You don't have to use a color corrector if you don't want to or if you don't need to. It's summertime, so my complexion is going to be deeper, so the parts of my face where I have maybe acne scarring or hyperpigmentation is going to be a little bit more apparent, so that's why I like to use it just in general. It doesn't matter if it's winter or summer, I'm using it. Moving on, for today's foundation, I'm going to be using Juvia's Place I Am Magic. This is in the shade Tanzania. I feel like the skin really has to shine for this look. This foundation has not done me wrong when it comes to just giving, getting coverage, and also I just like the way it just looks on the skin. I'm going to apply some of it to the back of my hand because being that she's full coverage, yeah, I don't want to go too heavy-handed with this. Yeah, I'm just gonna apply it as needed. I'm using the Beauty Blender and I'm just gonna tap it into the skin till I get the desired coverage.
Now I know this foundation is a bit deeper than my complexion, but you know, don't worry. Don't worry, we're gonna balance it out. It's gonna look fine. It's gonna look fine. Stay with me. Moving on, I'm gonna grab my Oma Beauty Double Take Sculpt and Strobe Duo Stick in shade three. Where I've been focusing this lately is mostly, well, actually, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. We're not gonna apply this directly to the face. In fact, I'm going to put it on the back of my hand like what I did with the foundation. I'm grabbing my smaller beauty blender. What I've been focusing on more lately is just like applying the product to my hand and then applying it to the skin because it allows it to just be more diffused. I, I don't know, I just, I feel like I don't really care to be applying product directly onto the face anymore. I just rather be more precise about how much I'm applying and where I'm applying it. So yeah, we're just gonna focus this right here. And then at the very base of the nose, in the center. Then we can always come back and shape it more after we put down the concealer. And then I also like to apply it to the lace. So if you watch any of my hair videos, I usually don't include this part because I'm usually doing it for whatever makeup look I'm doing, like now. So yeah, this is usually what I do. So it makes the lace less apparent. And then going in with my previous sponge that has the foundation and just blending that out. That's pretty much a good starting point. If I need to adjust anything, I'll do one later. Grabbing my Juvia's Place Eye Magic Concealer. This is in shade number nine. Um, it's been a while since I've worked with this concealer on the face. Again, if you watch my hair videos, you know I usually put it in the hairline or the parting of the wig. Being that it's been a while since I've worked with this, I kind of forgot how much product I need. So I'm going to apply it to where I want to and then blend it out to kind of see how the coverage is. I could let it dry down, but uh, I don't feel like doing that today. And I'm going to use an excess product to carve out underneath the cheekbone right here. Blending it out with the part that I used for the foundation. Well, I feel like this, found this concealer just melted away, but it's okay. Alright, I'm going to do this side off camera and I'll be back to show you how I do the nose. All right, so now we're gonna focus on the center of the nose. I would love to be facing y'all when I do this like direct on, but girl, I need to focus. And I'm not gonna bring it up too much here because I'm gonna diffuse it anyway, so. No need for that. And I think what I'm gonna do is mostly focus on powders when it comes to really getting that brightness. We have a good base with the concealer, so instead of just packing on more concealer to get that brightness, I'm gonna focus on the powders I'm applying when I set it. And just using the bottom of this sponge to diffuse the nose and go back to this one to help carve out those areas from before. So I'm mostly focusing it right here for the contour and then right here. A part of me is like put on more concealer. Another part of me is just like nah girl work with the powder. We're gonna work on the powder. The powder is what's gonna bring out the brightness. Right now, let's do subtle 
let's do subtle. Moving on to blush. I'm gonna use LA Girl Soft Matte Cream Blush. This is in the shade Blissful. And of course, my application with this will be no different. Putting it on the back of my hand. I put a lot. Oh girl. Hmm. Hmm. And I'm going to just kind of just flatten it out. That's what I'm doing mostly so that when I pick it up, it's not just a bunch of product in the center of the beauty blender. For this look with the filter, the blush was blushing. So I'm going to I'm going to slowly build it up, but still try to go for like a saturated look. So I'm just going to move this hair out of the way. I really focus on bringing it up on the cheekbone. Now when we set it with powders, because I'm not applying any more blush on top of this, I'm just going to allow it to be underneath what we're setting. It is going to get a little bit lost, so I am going to be heavy handed. I'm building it up, but I am going to be heavy handed with it. I'm just making sure I'm getting the placement right, so I'm really trying to focus it on this part of my cheekbone, so like the upper cheekbone area. And I'm probably just bringing it into like right here. And there is a little bit of blush on the nose. Just a little bit right here. This I'm not gonna go too crazy with. But focusing it right in this part of the nose. I'm actually going to do something I don't usually do and apply a little bit of the blush right here. I'm just going to add a little bit of warmth to this area. So I'm going to grab my Laura Mercier. This is in Translucent Honey, the setting powder. Here she is, yes, yes, there she is. Picking up a little bit on my sponge blotting it out to diffuse it so it's not so intense I'm gonna set Now I'm going to grab my Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep Powder for setting all of the rest of my face. And I'm actually going to use my powder puff. So what I like to do, if you've seen me do this, I picked it up from when I got these products when I went to a TikTok event in New York City actually. So I just tap the product in here to pick up some of the product. Well, tap the powder puff to get some of the product on it. Then I'm just wiggling doing a little bit of a wiggle and then we're gonna invert again and I'm just doing like a light roll and this is how you set it I feel like this is one of those things where it's just like product control it's just controlling how much product you're putting on your face and getting an even distribution of it But it is supposed to give it like a filter-like look. That is the point of applying the product like this. Like a very diffused look. So, you know, it's fitting for today's video.
And then for under the face, I don't really care about here being diffused because it's just where I brought the foundation down. So we just gonna do that. And then for the nose where I can't reach it with the powder puff, I'm just going in with a blending brush. Now I'm picking up the matte LA Girl Matte Bronzer again in Sunset Glow, tapping into that bottom shade and I'm going to focus it right here on the bridge of the nose. And I'll put some on the tip of the nose as well. Grabbing my Colored Rain Bronzer, this is in the shade Naughty Spice. I'm gonna just apply some of it right over here. Just the slightest bit, so I'm really focusing it right into this area. I'm gonna do something a little different from what I usually do. I'm gonna take the K KVD translucent setting powder and you can take any translucent powder, girl. You don't need this one, it's fine. I'm going to tap my sponge, the very tip of the sponge here. Diffuse, diffuse, diffuse. And I'm actually gonna apply it right here. What that's gonna do is add more brightness right here to the center of the face. I'm gonna do that same thing in the center right here. You can actually do it down the nose as well. So just to add brightness to the center. A little bit over here too. And I'll do the same thing on the other side as well. Now we're gonna set with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Setting Spray. Give it a little shake. I don't know, sometimes people be covering the eyes. I don't, am I, what am I doing? I don't know. Just set the face. Why I feel like it's not even coming out, child? We're gonna take in the fan. We're gonna just, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to use my beauty blender to press it into the skin in addition to the fan. Moving on to finishing up this eye look. Grabbing my LA Girl Sunkiss Glow Stick. This time it's in the shade Suede Fringe. I'm going to do the same thing I did before, which is just like, I have a piece of paper towel, just warming it up right there. And then I'm actually going to use a brush to apply this, this time for a more specific application. And I'm going to focus it right here on the inner tear duct. So kind of just extending that inner area a little bit. In the Sunkiss Glow Palette, I'm going to pick up the shade Highlight. And we're going to put that right on top of where we put that base. Girl, I, I am struggling right now to find space. Oh my gosh. I have so many things in front of me right now, y'all. And just like that, don't need a lot just to brighten up that inner corner area. 
Again, our trusty matte bronzer from LA Girl. You know, picking up that bottom shade like how I usually do. So we're just gonna put this right here. But adds a little bit of a something something to the lower lash line. And I'm really bringing it into like right here. So I guess you could say like the outer edge of your, like, your eyeball. That's where I'm bringing it. So I'm going to extend my liner here. Just like that. Now I'm going to grab my Oma Beauty Salute to the Sun. Nefertiti Cole Eyeliner. This is in the shade Kennet. It's a brown. Girl, just use whatever brown eyeliner you have. I'm going to focus this just right here. So this is one of those like little subtle things where it just creates a little bit more of like a... It's like a nice detail to add to your eye look. Like it's super subtle, but adds like a little bit of depth. I don't even know if depth is a word for it. You see me tearing up, Lord have mercy. Anyway, it's like a very subtle like cut moment to the eye. I'm just trying to make sure that I really saturate it because over the course of the day, and who knows, maybe it's just so subtle you can't see it. Like maybe there looks like there's no difference, but Girl, we gonna roll with it. We gonna roll with it. I feel like if you really want to exaggerate, you can put a lighter color on the rest of the waterline, but we're doing subtle today. We're doing subtle. Did I even tell y'all what I did with my brows? I, I feel like I didn't. I feel like I didn't. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So I use the crayon case. This is the dip brow, the eyebrow pomade, the eyebrow pomade in dark brown. So what I did was I'm just using the tapered end of this brush and I just did little brow hairs. I usually line the bottom but for this I wanted to keep it a little bit more I guess natural so you can see my natural brow hairs and it's not just a straight line so I literally just filled it in by making hair strokes like that and I feel like mostly it's on the end here where I did create more of a shape since the tail of my brow isn't as defined as like let's say the inner part of the brow and then kind of same thing i did i just cleaned it up with a spoolie in terms of like just prep making sure that i move the hairs to where it should be and um yeah that's what we did for that moving on to lashes i'm going to be grabbing my oma beauty drama bomb mascara this is in bliggity black and i will be doing my mascara oh girl i'm not even in camera i'm so sorry i'm so sorry y'all Moving on to lashes, I'm going to be doing Libra lashes in the style number 5. And this is what it looks like. Why am I doing an accent? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to put those on off camera. I would show y'all, but I know I'm going to struggle. I ain't even going to hold you, I haven't done my makeup in quite a couple weeks. So this, I even, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. When I come back, my lashes will be on. That's it. Okay, lashes are on, moving on. <gasps> Not me dropping this highlights, just lightly dropping it. it. Sounded more dramatic though. Anyway, I'm grabbing the Anastasia Beverly Hills on Reezy highlight. Lord have mercy, girl. I don't like the way I dropped it. So here it is. Use your go-to highlight. I just need something that's gonna give me more of like a champagne type of reflect. I'm gonna apply it right here. You see what I mean? I just, this highlight, Aunt Reezy did that. She really did. I mean, when does she not do that? Like she, she been that. She been that. Aunt Reezy just is that girl.
Maybe I could have diffused that a little bit more, but just don't even worry about that. We're gonna apply this to the brow bone also, right here. I'm actually gonna apply a little bit right here. I don't even know if I did that in a way that actually is a great application, but whatever, a little bit right there as I'm making these weird faces. And on the nose as well. So focusing at first on the center right here. And then also just up here. Then lips, right, lips. I'm gonna be grabbing Alma Beauty's Simone Lip Liner. And we're gonna use that to line my lips. Now I did put on some chapstick before so I'm just getting that off filling my lips in with kit from Oma Beauty and if I keep saying Oma Beauty differently just know it's because I'm trying to really figure out why I'd be feeling like I'm saying it right, and then my brain just goes, no you're not. Not? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna fix that. Don't even worry about that. I'm gonna fix it off camera. I'm just gonna put some, uh... Not gonna happen on both sides. I'm gonna put eyeshadow back on top. Pretend you don't see that. That? Just don't even worry about that. Don't even worry about that. Blotting our lips together. And then on top of that, I'm going to take my Buxom Plump Shot. This is in the shade Lingerie. And if I had to say what this product does in terms of making, because this does have, it makes your lips plump. I feel like if I had to explain what it does, it's like a tingling burn, but it's not like an unbearable burn. It's kind of like a, it's a tingling. Let's go with tingle. Tingle is a lot nicer. I feel like what it does is it kind of just gets rid of some of the natural lines that your lip has. So it just makes your lips a little bit more plump. For me, it's like I already have big lips, so I was like, I don't really know if I care for a product like this. And lo and behold, I do. I do. It just, it looks really pretty, so I actually appreciate this product. And I will add that this is the only product I've tried that has this effect, so I don't have anything to really compare it to in terms of like sensation or how much it actually affects the lips. So... Yeah. So at this point, I would go in with setting spray again, but because I'm literally just staying in the house, um, I don't really feel like using more product. So after this, I would set my face again. Let's pretend I'm setting my face and that will be wrapping up this look. And I will be back to wrap this up. At the very last minute, I decided to put on the Soul Glow Oil. This is in Golden. I I really like this look. I feel like it's one of those looks where it's simple. And by simple, I mean like I didn't have to do a lot regarding like placement and stuff. I don't know. I really like this look. <laughs> the more I try to describe it, I might just be really off with um my description. I usually go for like a bigger wing, bigger lashes, more defined brows, so it's really nice to kind of try different ways of doing things. Like maybe it's not a massively big liner, but we have liner. It's, it's a baby wing. You know, we went for a baby wing today. The lips, I chef's kiss this lip combo. Whenever I pair Simone, the brown lip liner, and I fill in my lips with Kit, and then I put any gloss, any gloss can go, but the Buxom gloss on top looks so nice. And I just love the way like the complexion comes together. We did that. We did that today, y'all. We did that. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bless up. And until next time, sending out much peace, love, and enlightenment. Bye, guys.